Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap on the new episode of Dodara X210, which is on episode 11. This episode right here, it, see, it, it seems like it is the aftermath after that certain accident or hit and run on Karota and what's been happening in these events after that. And it is pretty ugly, that is for sure. And it looks like certain events are not going as well as I thought it will be, because after a certain hit and run on someone you care about, not a lot of things tend to like um go out of control. That is the truth. So if anything, let's continue. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that Selty and Shinra have a little small talk about Kadota, you know. But Selty, on the other hand, said she'll be okay, you know. She's not gonna get herself involved in some kind of busted up crackalax, you know. And I'm thinking in my mind. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, Selty, because guarantee of all hell, after Karota and after Shinra gotten hurt, and now Karota's in a coma, which gets me really upset because hell, that is not a good way to actually cause any good. That is not a good way to make any um good peace. You're just declaring war right now, the way I'm looking at it. Anyways, as the episode continues, we had to it that um Selty. Gets a little text message from Alba Real Guy Re, Ryu or something, which seems like he seems to have a couple um events planned or something to to my um concerns because we get to find out what's been going on lately. And of course we have a little small we have a little talk about Shiki and this other guy and this other and this other guy. Apparently. He's looking for his daughter that went missing and right now like um Shiki on the other hand says he'll get he'll get in touch with like um, his info broker which is Isaiah. We all know who he is. He's freaking bad boy. Well, boss that is. <laughs> um anyways, uh after that certain talk right there, we get to we get to see a switch up about um um Akabayashi Mizuki who's talking to Isaiah and later on Isaiah confesses that um Mikado Ryogame is actually the leader of the dollars, and a Akabayashi is pretty surprised about this because I thought he might keep all that info to himself, you know, and Isaiah says, why would I do that, you know, and I think in my mind, I don't know, because you're just an a-hole, <laughs> or some kind of like a sneaky little punk that likes to cast the strings behind the scenes, you know, he's like the puppeteer, we all know who the heck Isaiah is, like, d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d that kind of thing. So as the episode continues with its with its procedural message, I mean events or something. Um, we have to it that that after we after seeing Karota in the hospital, well, Henri and Erica are over there, and Erica confesses to Henri that she would literally want to kill the guy after what happened, especially when it came to like um Walker. Who went to um um Masomi's um meeting with his yellow scarves, which is not a good thing because one time after asking a couple questions and in interrogation here and there, he left the room. And Kira explains to everyone to be careful because that guy is literally lit on freaking kerosene and he had a cocktail with him. One simple ugly move of whatever could happen, we will all been like burnt to hell. And I think in my mind. Dear Lord, is this guy really trying to commit suicide? Like, he was literally soaked in kerosene, and <laughs> he had like a freaking cocktail ready to blow fire up. Dude, it's like, I'm gonna do the kamikaze kind of thing, you know? <laughs> what the hell? And so forth. So, after after that, um, Kira gets a message from Walker saying that, Hey, you up? Uh, Hijiwa Jima, she's all got arrested, which is not a good thing. And I'm thinking in my mind, what the hell? The strongest man in the city just got arrested. Like, did he get arrested? Did he get caught doing something or framed? Are you crazy? There's no way Shizu-chan will get arrested at this time, you know? You guys get what I'm trying to get at here. We all know that. But eventually, you know, there's another event going on, and this involves... Namai Yagiri, you know, Seiji's oldest sister, but not before we get to see, um, Alba or, like, uh, Alba getting Selty-san to meet Mikado about being a face of this thing. And after Alba's, like, 
teary eyes, which I can't believe because that little sneaky piece of crackalack needs to die. No joke. But they get interrupted by um, Akabayashi. And he says, hey, mind if I join you guys? And I think in my mind, dear lord, how the hell did you know where these guys are at, you know? Crazy crackalax. And we have to see to it that, um, so, that, um, going back to Seiji's sister, she gets, like, uh, abducted by, um, by her uncle, apparently. And according to the backstory of what, um, Nama said about her uncle, he is pretty much, like, some kind of minor antagonist to me now. He kidnaps her, and right now we get to see a scene about Isaiah setting things up <coughs> and realizing someone's using his name or something, or possibly his motives to cause certain chaos. And I'm thinking in my mind, oh boy, here we go. That kind of thing, you know? I do not know what's gonna happen, but right now, next week is the final episode. I got a feeling we're gonna get like uh, the big finger to the to the face because of a devastating cliffhanger. Because if I remember last episode of, of part one of Durara X2 shows cliffhanger, damn dude, I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So overall, this is like um, this is this is all the events that happened after Karota's hit and run, and apparently she's all she's all got arrested. Selty on the other hand might become the new face, but Akabayashi appears. Isaiah being the info broker as always, and Seiji's older sister kidnapped and abducted. And apparently, yeah, a lot of events are starting to stir up some crazy crackalacks. That's all I can say. Don't know what's going to happen, but we all can guarantee that it's not going to end very well. Even Mikado and Kida is trying to figure out something. I forgot to mention Kida's mission, Masomi. He's, supposed, he's going to stop his friend, Ryugami Mikado, even means if he has to kick his butt. And I'm thinking in my mind, Doc, I don't know how you're going to do that, but I would try to stop with myself depending on the situation, but I would not go as far enough to try to physically hurt him. But if you have to do what you got to do, go ahead. But you got you got a certain death flag that I'm marking you on right now. Let's just hope that's like a slap in the face saying I'm not going to die, you know? So until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm off for Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys in my Charlotte, Charlotte recap, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.